Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these dark times of unrest. And the best place I know to find a good ray of hope is in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Word today. Turn with me over to the 17th chapter of the book of Jeremiah. And I want us to look at verse number 7 as our text verse of Scripture. The Bible says here, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Trust Brings Blessings. Trust Brings Blessings. You know, these last uh, few days, we've been talking about trusting the Lord in uh, these uh, encouragement for today's uh, devotions. And that's one of the most important things that we can do is trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. Trust in the Lord brings blessings. What a thought. I like what the scripture says in this text verse, blessed is the one who trusts or trusted in the Lord. You know, the verse before uh, this one uh, describes what it's like for those uh, who trust in people. The result is not prosperity, but results rather is difficulty. And there's so many people that's placing their trust in a man. Uh, some are placing their trust in a president who is doing the best, I suppose, that he can do. Many don't think that he's doing much at all. But uh, as according to the scripture, it's our duty to pray for him. Uh, I don't know who in the world would want, to, want that particular job if you stop and you think about it because not only do you have your problems to deal with, but you got millions of other problems to deal with. Uh, but friend, listen, you can't place your trust in a man because a man will always let you down. I mean, as much as I try to do my best never to let anyone down, I'm just one man and I can't be everywhere all the time. But God can. He's a powerful God. And that's why it's so important that we place our trust in him. Humans are prone to mistakes and we are prone to failures. Uh, a human is unstable, and uh, it's uh, hard to put your trust in something that's unstable. But listen, with Almighty God, you can have a confidence in his trustworthiness. The Bible says he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. Friend, if you really search your heart and your life, he's never really let you down. There's been times that you thought that he did, but then you look back on those times since you got past them and you see that he was there all the time. Friend, he'll never let you down. Even if it felt like it for a little while, he'll never let you down. God has been faithful. God is consistent. In fact, he's been faithful and consistent before time began. And he is worthy of our confidence because he has never made a mistake whatsoever. Uh, he's never lost sight of his plan for you. So, friend, you can place your trust in him and know that he'll care for you. Uh, I've got a sermon filed away somewhere that I wrote many years ago, and the title of it is uh, Mistakes in the Bible. And I won't ever forget the morning that I preached that message at Holt Baptist Church in Osceola, Georgia, I stood and I gave my text and I said, I'm going to bring to you a message today titled Mistakes in the Bible. Well, I had a dear saintly old grandma to stand up and she let me know real quickly that there was no mistakes in the Bible. And I said, just sit down and uh, listen. I said, I'm going to show you there are some mistakes in the Bible. And uh, she said, well, I'm eager to hear what it is. And I started my message, and I said, God has allowed the mistakes that men have made to be printed in the pages of God's Word, hoping and uh, desiring that we not make those same mistakes. 
And uh, friend, uh, we are prone to wonder and prone to make mistakes. That's why it's so important that we place our trust in the Lord and that we lean not to our own understanding. I mean, whenever you stop and you think about mistakes that God allowed to be printed in the Bible, uh, he, he allowed those mistakes to be printed so that we could overcome those mistakes. David had a lust problem. Elijah had a depression problem. And we could go on and on and on with the mistakes that were made. But despite the mistakes that were made, God always gave victory and even blessed the lives of those that made the mistake. So friend, trust in the, in the Lord. If you'll just trust in the Lord, it'll truly bring blessings. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this powerful devotion that lets us know we need to trust in you, not in our own understanding. Uh, I pray you'll use this now for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has encouraged you today like it's encouraged me. Let God use it in your life to encourage others. Have a wonderful day.